Good morning, everyone. This morning, I'm going to be going over copper recovery, how to find the recovery of copper out of your insulated wire. For this, you're going to need a calculator, a scale. You'll need a scale that weighs in grams, a utility knife to cut the insulated wire, and of course, you're going to need some actual insulated copper wire. All right, let's get started. All right, step one is you're going to weigh the insulated wire with the copper in it and the insulation. 9.2 grams. All right, after you weigh it, you're going to write that weight down. 9.2 grams. You write it down on a sheet of paper so you don't forget it because after you strip it, uh, you're going to have to throw it all back on there if you forgot. All right, step two, you're going to strip the wire. I might speed this up so you don't have to sit here and watch me strip it. <clears throat> Put down a piece of cardboard. That way I don't mess up this fancy smancy table we just made. <laughs> Step three, we're going to weigh the bare copper that we just stripped. I don't know if you can see or not, but it says 6.6. .6. All right, I'm going to go ahead and write 6.6 .6 down. So now I have my numbers. In case I forget, I can go back and look at my pad. All right, step four, you're going to use a calculator to find out the recovery. I use a calculator because I'm not very good at math. <clears throat> so. You're going to always take your small number, which was 6.6, .6, and divide it by 9.2. Some people might say, what? You're dividing it by 9.2? You're crazy, man. But I'm not. So we're going to take 6.6, .6, and we're going to divide that by 9.2. And that is going to give us 0.71. 73913034. But you're just going to round it. So we're just going to say 0.72. Okay? Now, I know what you're thinking. It's that easy, Hunter? Yes, it really is that easy to find the recovery of insulated wire. But then you're also saying, well, why do I care what it recovers? And I'll explain all of that in this video right here. Just click on the link. And remember, just because that one ran 71%, that was fire alarm wire. And I've ran recoveries on it lots of times just to keep it up in my mind. And sometimes it runs 68, 69%, 70, 71. So just remember, there's a lot of different factors that could change the percentage of it. So I usually say, okay, well, if I strip this, then it could really run 1% to 2% lower or higher. I'm sure humidity has to do a factor with it. There's a lot of things. Plus, I'm not using a $5,000 gram scale. I'm using a gram scale that I bought at Office Max. So keep that in mind. Thanks for watching.